Then here comes another video from Solo Man. This one is without any Peroni at all, so it could be rather boring. If you look at the wild animals on the planet, <laughs> that could be anybody. Could be the guy next door. No, I mean the wild animals like the antelope, the giraffe, and say the mammals, you know, like the dolphins, the whales, and even the insects on the planet. And yes, even the humans on the planet. We have all evolved to sort of fill a niche, so to speak. For instance, we know why the giraffe has a very long neck, so it can reach the tastier buds that no other animal can reach. Now, nature put a lot of work into the giraffe's neck. It has loads of different valves, so when it bends down to drink, it doesn't faint. And most humans understand that. But humans, too, have adapted to fill a niche on the planet Earth. And there was many prototypes before humans and before the giraffe, but they didn't make the grade. They didn't survive. Only the successful adaptations will survive. Such is the word nature, or maybe natural selection. But for some reason we're supposed to forget all that history and hundreds of thousands of years, and pretend when it comes to humans, it doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Oh, but it does, doesn't it? Male bodies are built different than femon bodies, for a reason. Their brains are built different, for a reason. But they seem to want to change males into femons, and femons into males, and think they can do it by operating or giving drugs. Generally speaking, it's never been successful. And that's because it's going against nature. Males are workers, builders, thinkers, protectors. That's why their bodies aren't encumbered by pregnancy. When a human femon is seven to eight months pregnant, if it was in the wild, they'd be vulnerable, wouldn't they? So they need a protector. Nowadays, the state usually takes that role over from the man. But for thousands of years, man was the protector. He was not only protecting the femon, he was protecting his offspring. He also needed a brain that was wired to recognize danger and to make a plan and take action to eliminate the danger threat. In other words, he had to solve the problem. The modern femons don't really think it's great that they are the breeders of society. Oh, they like the advantages, of course, but they dislike the disadvantages greatly. They all seem to wish they were never born femons, but they were. If they weren't the breeders, then why does nature give them breasts? But they do like their breasts, but for other reasons. The modern femons are trying to deny nature, and yet the truth is staring them in the face. Literally, even their brains are wired to be the breeders. That's why femons don't recognize danger so easily when they're in the middle of it. Of course, none of this is really rocket science at all, is it? It's just common sense. And I'm sure an African antelope wishes they were born <laughs> a lion or a cheetah. But unfortunately, all the wishing in the world won't change anything. Maybe realizing your situation and your strengths and weaknesses. In other words, getting a dose of reality may be their only hope. I wonder who I'm talking about. Huh. Take it easy, fellas.